Jay Bills for Media Spotlight UK, reunited yes. with my mate Nate. How are you doing, sir? How are you feeling now, a month removed from the last time we spoke? How are you feeling at this point? I'm feeling confident, I'm feeling great and uh, ready for a fight. Yeah, because I saw your face-to-face uh, -face yesterday oh, yeah. and uh, both of you are very, very confident in your abilities. And it seems like, I, it seemed like you were trying to like, you know, trying to work him out in terms of like, you know, because obviously with, um, you know, because you're a very, very nice guy, it seems like, are you trying to get into his head in terms of like the way that your personality shines through? No, I'm just, just being myself because at the end of the day, that's all that matters. Trying to be something you're not, trying to be fake, trying to be a tough guy if you're not a tough guy, but all that stuff doesn't really matter to me. So I'm just, I'm just being myself, that's all. I have to thank you because literally our last interview, um, your, your Thailand fans are crazy. <laughs> no, big up, like, honestly, because literally it was the most viewed video out of all the interviews I did that day. Okay. So, I mean, you know, being in Thailand for so long, like, what's the support by, been like in general? Like, not just in boxing, but just in life in general to get to this point that, you know, you have a whole country support you. Uh, it's amazing. Ah, I just got goosebumps thinking about it. So, oh, wow. yeah, it's so good. it's like, I'm, I'm a foreigner in that country. I'm, I'm not, I wasn't born there. I didn't grow up there. And so the fact that I can be there, I mean, able to build a following and that so many people want to support me and see me succeed just means the world to me. It's absolutely amazing. The best fan club in the world. I guarantee you Thai people are the best. Culture, the food, the people is amazing. So no matter all these other fighters, whether from the US, the UK, I've got the best fans from Thailand for sure. Well, you certainly do. I mean, you've seen uh, Ken, Kenny's sparring footage as of late. Yeah. Uh, we've seen that he's thrown hands a lot more. Um, you know, based on s some of the training that you've seen, um, what do you think, seeing that, would you be able to sort of put that to your advantage in terms of what you would bring to the ring in terms of what you've seen with Kenny? Yeah, I'd say the first thing is you only see like 10 seconds of it. There's, there's a, a full round of three minutes. Anybody can punch for 10 seconds. Sure. But... Uh, that's good. I hope he comes out punching because that just plays right in our game. Because I prefer fighting off the back foot. Mm. I prefer waiting for them to throw and then shoot. I don't know the word in English. I know in Thai because I train in Thai. <laughs> What's it called? Counter punching. Right. Got Sorry, it, got it. I, I'm not used to speaking in English. Sorry. So yeah, I'm, I like to counter punch. I like to fight off the back foot. So if he starts throwing, I'm ready. But if he doesn't throw, I'm ready to press as well. So yeah. whatever he comes, whatever he's prepared, we're ready for it. You said that you wanted to face uh, Winnison Nunes yeah. uh, at some point during the tournament. Now, should it be the case, because he's obviously facing uh, uh, Filipek. Yeah, well, right now it's a 50-50 chance, because yeah. I'm on the same side as him in the tournament. Yes. So it could be the chance that you get to, to face him down the line. So who are you looking, for, who are you looking forward to in terms of, like, potentially the semi-final and then the final? Like, who are the opponents you're hoping for should you win against your fight against Kenny this Saturday? Okay, well... Win or lose with Kenny, it's still 50-50 chance with Winderson, so I'm happy. Right. So, my next round I want Winderson for the same reason. I don't have any beef with him, no problems. He's just a cool guy yeah. and he has a massive following. And that's why I, I want to be in front of more eyes, so that's my goal. And then from there, let's say beat Kenny, beat Winderson, then we're in the final. I don't know. I think anybody on the other leg would be fine. McBrooms, Anetti, Jarvis, or Gibb. But if I could choose anyone, I, I like Jarvis. Yeah. I just I feel like he's a nice guy, he's a cool guy, and I would yeah. love to fight with him. Some of the other guys are kind of they think they're the, the they think they're the best, so they think they're just amazing and whatever. Are you, are you yeah. liking that humble sort of? A, is that yeah. the humble approach that you're looking for? Yeah, I like Jarvis because I mean when we see each other, like you know, we talk, we get along, and everything. There you go. <laughs> okay, again, one more time. That always happens. Though everyone wants to come into the picture, it's fine. Yeah. So yeah, I just think he's a cool, humble guy, and uh, I, I would like to fight Jarvis. That'd be fun. And going forward, like after the tournament's over, all said and done, when yeah. you've gone through all of this stuff, is this like a continuing thing in terms of wanting to do more sort of events? Not only like because we've got Kim Pin, we've got Misfits. Right. Is that are you continuing that that vibe? Because obviously you're known most in Thailand. You're bringing it over here. Is that are you trying to take this worldwide in terms of your approach to boxing? Uh yeah. Well, the goal. No worries. <laughs> As no, it's cool, it's cool. <laughs> so the goal is to go worldwide, not necessarily for boxing. Sure. Boxing is just the vehicle I'm using to get people to know who I am, what's going on. Because yeah, uh, you have a worldwide fan base anyway. Right, so that's the goal. So yeah. whatever will get me in front of audiences worldwide, whether it's boxing, whether it's, I don't know, football or anything, I'll, I'm down to do it as an entertainer. Okay. But uh, 
if this goes well, if, if all the fights go well, and I'm definitely down to, to look into other options and see how it goes, for sure. I'm a little bit disappointed you didn't come in your suit today. Because, uh, uh, I mean, the last time you wait, come in the drip. Wait, wait for the press conference. Ooh! All right, looking forward to it. Yeah. My mate Nate, it's always a pleasure. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow, brother.